Hi everyone, welcome back to Atlantic Fleets. Here we are with the Axis forces in week 3.5 of December 1940. We are doing pretty well, pretty well. Thank you all for your support and continued, um, yeah, continued support I suppose. I can't use the same word twice but in the same sentence but I will. <laughs> Thank you for your continued support. It's been much appreciated and as always if you want to see some more hit that like button and share on social media, it really does help the series and the channel grow and go from strength to strength, which is fantastic. Last time out, we lost. Sad day. We lost the Admiral Graf Spey. One of my favourite ships. <laughs> um, but uh, we lost her in uh, an epic confrontation with HMS Rodney, the Nelson-class battleship, which also succumbed beneath the waves so yes uh in in hindsight a heavy cruiser trade-off with a battleship isn't terribly bad but um it's still, it's still a bit of a bit of a sad note um still slightly disappointed but there we go tonnage wise we're doing great we've got the uh the allied forces down to one blue square uh and let's just figure out what we were doing down here just off the caribbean we've got the bismarck and the turpits doing the rounds. Uh, let's bring them out down here because we know traffic, used to, convoy traffic used to pass over there. Not that it shows here but maybe we'll send them up there near Dakar to um, score a few kills. Uh, over here we have the Scharnhorst, the Admiral Hipper, the Cologne and a Destroyer. They're just sort of um, chilling out down here south of Gibraltar. I'm not quite sure uh, what my meaning was. If we've got the battleships going down there, then I guess these guys can sort of... Uh, I guess then that's one of theirs. Let's just bring them um, back up to the Bay of Biscay. Who do we have here? The Carl Shrew. Oh yes, this is the light cruiser that we built last time to replace uh, the Admiral Graf's Bay. So... Um, I think she can stay in port for the moment. Can can we get her upgraded at all? Yeah, let's go. Let's put her in there for some rearmament. Uh, how's U30? U30's got 14 torpedoes. Does she want to go in for some? Yeah, she can go in for a turn. That's fine. They're safe in there. That's good. And we'll bring the uh, that task force up here. In the uh, Karlsruhe can uh, join that one. Right over here. This must be the Gnais now, and they've got some damage. So I think. Let's bring these boys. Um, let's take them up to Reykjavik and we'll bring them round and they can do some uh, light repair work as well. That's all looking a bit... Um, uh, you, you know, it's one of those things. A stitch in time saves nine. Let's let's get them repaired while it's just a little bit of minor damage. And, you know, a new nick of paint. Uh, and that way they're not going to be out for a long period of the war. Good. Right. Let's press on then. The Erminger Sea. Allied convoy attacked by submarines. 44,600 tons of merchant shipping has been sunk. Fantastic. Well done, boys. And we have a... Holy... Batman. We have... The Illustrious. I knew we'd meet again. I knew we would meet again. Yes, the Illustrious, the aircraft carrier Illustrious. We had a bit of a skirmish earlier in the war, but she seems to have avoided us. And they've got a DC Arcanthus. Arcanthus? What DC? Is that a destroyer carrier cruiser? I don't know. I'll have to figure that one out. Um, DC, not seen that one before. Uh, lots of freighters and tankers as well. And we've got U28 and U40, and we're down here in the Western Approaches. And look who's down here. We have a task group coming up. We may be able to incept it if the illustrious sneaks by. But let us let us have a look. How are we configured? We are each side of the convoy. There is the illustrious. Where is the arcane acanthus? Acanthus, I think it's pronounced. So uh, that must be. Now hang on. There she is. There is the illustrious, looking splendid. And amazing. So, um, oh, it's a Corvette. <laughs> oh, is that what DC is? Destroyer Corvette. 
Oh, that's not terribly exciting, is it? Oh, okay. Uh, stand down. Not, not, not terribly worried anymore about that. Right, so you 28 is actually behind the game. Okay. Okay, so have a look for the old... Um... Where are they? There they are. There she is over there. She's 7,000 meters away. Huh, ho hum. Right, okay. Flank speed. Turn to port. Do we have any aircraft? We do. We have a bomber. Well, there's only one thing we're going to target. Uh, the wind is going this way. Oh, I want to fly down. We've got a better chance of actually get scoring a hit if we go down. Alright. Now, which aircraft will we be having? If it's a Stuka, good. If it's a Condor, better. Oh, because we've got more bombs, but I'm terribly, terrible at bombing with the Condor. Let's find out. Oh, it's not. It's a Ju-80... I don't know. Bombs away! Oh, yes! Scored some great hits down the runway. Oh, I'm happy with that. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, we're over the other submarine. Let's have a look at that. Look at that! Oh, she's listing! Hey, <laughs> she's listing! Look at that. That was a great bomb run. Pumps are damaged. Excellent. Aircraft are destroyed. Or probably the... Um, they, put, they may have gone through the decking and uh, destroyed the aircraft below. Or they may have destroyed the, you know, the lifts and stuff. Um, her S2 turret is destroyed or damaged. Triple A is also damaged. Oh, this is a great start. Great start. Right, back to U40. Where are you? My lovely, there you are. Um, oh, oh, why did I hit disengage? No, 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 no. Oh, well, I uh, I'm so angry. Why did I accidentally rather than move? I hit disengage. Why was that button even there? Damn it. Damn it, tempted me to make a stupid mistake, which I've just done. Right. Ah, oh, I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe... I was just setting up for a nice attack on those tankers as well. Right. Um, I think we lose two torpedoes in the hope that we can snag her. Because she's getting further and further away. 8,000 metres... Uh, can we get her with a torpedo? Yeah, we can just. Uh, 353.7. They reckon there. Now, she may turn inside, so we'll fire one there. Right, we'll fire those two. And these are trying just to hold her in place. We know her pumps are damaged. She may well um, be able to turn away from these. Although they're looking pretty good. Let's continue to follow in that attack. We'll hold the torpedo this time. Oh yes, I think we're going to get some good hits. She's smoking. Propulsion, steering, pumps, all damaged. Excellent. Uh, this is where we fire our... Oh, look at that. We've got the god rays coming down. That's beautiful. That's really beautiful. Something you'll never look at, but look at that. You get the god rays coming through the gaps in the cloud. That's really nicely done. I bet you the, they spent ages doing that and no one's ever noticed it before. It's one of those things. Right, um, so 352.2. Fire there, and I'll fire inside again. Fire. 
Now hopefully we should get some uh, torpedoes reloaded for the next turn because that corvette's going to be like an angry wasp. Uh oh. They've called in the big boys. I ate Sunderland's. Oh, depth charges away. Oh, no. Oh, no. U 28's gone. We will not see those torpedoes hitting the illustrious. I should not. Ah, oh, this is all comes down to disengaging that other submarine. Ah. Oh. She escapes one more time due to my incompetence. Oh, I'm really angry with myself. Really angry with myself now. A, I've lost a submarine. And B, I should have finished off the aircraft carrier. <sighs> Meanwhile, Brazil North Seaboard. Allied shipping attack by warship. 72,980 tonnes of merchant shipping. That's the Turbits and the Bismarck. Not even that can cheer me up. But we're going to send the Scharnhorst. Hang on. We're going to send... There we go. Into that area and hopefully they can engage. Um, well, they've, they've long gone now. Oh. Utterly feeling utterly dejected from that stupid mistake. Right. Okay. Uh, anyway, meantime, um, let's get, we got a space, so let's get a, another submarine built. We don't have any, well, we got these, but this is not till 1942. So we've got no more, um, well, we've got some auxiliary cruisers, I suppose. We could send them down to get some shipping. Seven times uh, 5.9 inch. Six times 5.9 inch. Uh, we'll get a destroyer, of course. Or two. Well, just one. But I think I'm going to replace the U boat. So we got class sevens. Uh, class nines. Uh, they're not available. So we can get a nine. Anything? Let's get a nine then. Let's get U65. Brilliant. U65 is now in port. Excellent. Right, U65. Whoops. I keep sending, clicking onto that. Right, you head over there and you can head down here. Right. Uh, you're doing a grand job down here, Bismarck and Turpit, as I'd expect. And you sit there and get the traffic coming across there. Right. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll give a sacrifice to the gods for being so lenient with me. Obviously, the illustrious's heavy damage has caused her to uh, have to stay there. Um, and has allowed the battleship Scharnhorst and the Admiral Hipper, the Cologne, the Collinsberg and the destroyer Enrich Steinbrink to catch her. Oh, I'm going to get a reprieve. Happy days. Happy, happy days. Here's my beautiful task group, and there they are. There they are. Do, 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 do. They're in front of us. Is that the illustrious? No, it's not. Where's the illustrious? There she is. How's she doing? She's very low in the water, isn't she? Her pumps and propulsion and steering are back up. She can't launch aircraft. Her P1 and 2 and 4 turrets are down. So is her triple A. Wonderful. Wonderful. Right, so they're heading uh, that way, I believe. Towards us. Are they heading towards us? Are they really heading towards us? Yes, they are. Now, if I were these men, I would recommend you go below decks because there's going to be some fireworks. Oh, yes and how. Right, here we are then. Um, oh, let's just steam in. <laughs> and then let's not bother switching guns. The Scharnhorst targeting the illustrious. Um, high explosives. Let's get, uh, what we say, 14.9. Let's go 14.7. Boom. 
Boom. The opening salvo falls just short. Right, the Admiral Hipper. Uh, I'm going to spin you to port. What do we have there? We have C3 freighter, C2 freighter, the uh, Corvette, and of course the Illustrious. Beautiful. Right. Um, so 16.7. Let's have a look where our shots will be falling. Um, where are you? Can There's the Shanghai. So 16.7. That sounds about maybe a little bit short actually. Let's go 17.2. Yes, still a little bit short. Uh, here we have the Cologne. Or the Colon. It's weird. If I say Cologne, which is how we pronounce Cologne in the UK. As I know there's a Cologne in Germany and a Cologne as, a, as the perfume. Um, I get people saying it's not pronounced that. It's pronoun pronounced Colne. And if I say Colne, I get people saying it's not that. It's not pronounced like that. It's pronounced Cologne. That's why I give up. <laughs> so, so I'm just going to keep calling it as I call it because... I can't second. I can't please everyone, uh, so I do apologise if I do upset you with my pronunciation. It's just an illiterate British person trying to say some words. Oh, right, the Collinsberg. You turn to port as well. In fact, you can target the uh, the little Corvette. Twenty-four point nine. High explosives. Boom. Wee bit long. Right, you watch. They'll bring in some. Um... Right, flank speed. You charge in. Do we have any aircraft in our vicinity? We do, we have two bomber strikes. Oh, why didn't I look at this before? But there we go, it's perfect time to do it. Um, let's come from behind, giggity. Target there, I'm, I'm guessing this is gonna be the same kind of, yep. Dive. Bombs away. Oh, good hits. She's a tough old bird, that one. Oh, God, here we go. Shoot her down. Bring her down. Bring her down. Bring her down. Bring her down. Yes. Well done, boys. Well done. Haha, <laughs> I was getting nervous then. Relax. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. How is the. Um... Oh, she's creating smoke. Okay, good. And the illustrious. Oh. She's not looking happy. She looks like a, a cat where she's just come in from the rain. All bedraggled and. Uh... Right, you, you hot, hot, starboard. Um. So last time, 14.7 was long. No, wait. 14.7 was short. Sorry, short. Yeah, much short. Uh, elevation, 17.4. That sounds okay. I'm going to go 17.3. High explosive. Fire. Okay, we're doing the usual. First shot is short. Second shot is long. I'll eventually try and find their aim. 17.2 apparently was bang on the money. Do you know what? That probably isn't too bad. I'm going to actually... They reckon 18.3. I'm going to actually go to 17.1. I'm actually going to go the opposite way to they recommend. This could be a stupid move, but... A couple of, scored a couple of hits. I was right to uh, trust my gut instinct for once. Right, uh, 34.4 was on the money. Oh, it was, wasn't too bad at all. I'm going to drop that down to 34.2. 
plus the shots fire. Yes. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Not brilliant, but not too shabby. Right, we are targeting the smoke. The uh, the little um, Corvette here. We were it's far too long last time. At 25. So if we bring that down to say 21. 20.9. Perfect. We score ourselves a hit. Wonderful. And we'll charge in with the um, destroyer. And we have another aircraft. So let's let the flyboys have a little bit of glory. Although this one will get shot down now. Although they don't seem to have much in the way of anti-aircraft fire. So we're, we're doing okay. This might be the death of her. Still going. He's fired his pop gun. Look at the, the god rays coming through. It's lovely, isn't it? Yes, yeah, where is she? Is that? That's her there. <sighs> Tough old bird. Well, chip. Still not quite enough to uh, get the rear guns pointed. Right. So we're along. First off, we're short. Second. They're saying 15.6. Uh, Bring that down to, say, 15.7. Because, you know, I've got to be slightly awkward. Teenage child. We scored some hits. Right, last time 17.1 was bang on the money. They're now saying 16.2. I'm going to say 16.4. Because. Ah, oh, she's not getting away from this one. We will avenge the loss of our Kriegsmarine brothers. Uh, 34.2 was bang on. So let's drop it down to 30. 3.6 because we've obviously closed in a little bit. Bringing down the rain now. Look at this. This is good. Right, we're targeting the little Corvette. We were slightly long with 20.9. Uh, They're saying 20.9 this time. No, that would be too far. We've moved forward. So let's drop that down to 20.1. Ooh, that's close. Charge in. This destroyer, all it's done so far is um, directed the uh, airstrikes. has been fantastically good. Right, we'll target the Corvette. 16.9. Uh, Let's bring this to level. We'll fire at 15, I think. Okay, so 15.6, I think. She's still going. Wow, those Corvettes are really nippy, aren't they? Keep turning to starboard. Get this rear gun in action. Bonk. There we go. 15.3. Uh, 15.7. Apparently it was just long. Yeah, it was. So if we go 15.3, that's sound. I'm going to go to 15, actually. And uh, fire. <laughs> oh, that was a hell of a hit. Crikey. That's... That's... <laughs> that is one tough ship right there. Um, let's go over to the Admiral Hipper. Uh, 
Uh, she can just motor on forward. She's doing okay. Her guns are all locked in anyway. 16.4 uh, was bang on. Yeah. 16.9. Um, eh? That doesn't make sense. We're going to fire again at 16.3. Because we're both closing in on each other, so it doesn't make any sense that the distance would have increased. Good hits. Right. Come on. The aforementioned Cologne Cologne. Um, let's target what we're doing. Um, yeah, we're bang on the money. They've moved forward, we've moved forward. So 33.5, probably down to 33. They give 31.5, no. 32.9. <laughs> and we wait. Plunging fire. Yeah. Fire all the way around the target. Well, I think we'll get the two light cruisers to target on the Corvette now. Uh, so last time we were long by some way. 18.3 is a prediction. 20 was the last time we fired. If we split it down to 18.8. That is the luckiest little Corvette in the world. Unbelievable. Right, we'll start this one uh, ducking and a diving. Because obviously the Corvette started to uh, pick up um, fire on it now. Um, yeah, we went too far. I'm going to say, what do they say? 15.3. Uh, I'm going to say 14.9. Have a shot there. Ooh, a little bit long. Pop. Oh, that's not on. That's just not cricket, boys. It's just not cricket. You don't go and shoot at my poor little destroyer when I'm pummeling your big ships. No, no, come on. <laughs> right, let's drop that down to 14.5. The illustrious has gone. Finally, in what is felt like an eternity to bring her to her knees we have at last finished off the illustrious how many skirmishes have we had with her this is one too many We're all saluting you. You've been a fine ship. You've fought valiantly. But ultimately, you became our Bismarck. As you know, the Bismarck became the ship the British hunted mercilessly. They had to destroy it no matter what. It became like, you know, Moby Dick to Jonah. It became the White Whale. And, uh, yeah, this ship became ours. Oh, listen to that creaking, groaning metal. Oh, and then silence. That's creepy. Brilliant. Brilliant. Well done. Well done. Look at the damage we inflicted, though. Oh, amazing. Right. Meantime, above water. Uh, where is everyone? <laughs> uh, I suppose we've just got this little Corvette to target now. Yeah, Canthius. Or Canthius. Flower class Corvette. Oh, she's already got... Sonar and AAA damage. That's probably from the, the near misses, I'd imagine. Um, right, let's just move forward. We'll target her. Elevation 9.5. Fire. I didn't do that particularly well. We were going to move both light cruisers onto targeting the um, Acanthus anyway. 20.9. Uh, 20.9, fire. Oh, 
Good hit. Good hit. Um, 16.1. Bring the elevation down. 16.1. There we go. And, um, yeah, fine. Okay, that's slightly short. I'll go hard to starboard. Uh, 12, they reckon, is the... 12.2. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, lots of guns. <laughs> she gets covered in water a lot. Oh. It's just not on. I suppose they've got one shot. Let them have their one shot. Fine. Is that the ship there? Yes, it is. <laughs> I can barely see it. Um... It's a bit, bit of a waste using 11 inches, but um, giggity, but uh, let's just 10.8 fire. We should go to secondary guns, really, but I'm not wor too worried about it. Uh, elevation of 9.8. Let's go 9.6. There we go. That's the yeah, Acanthus gone. Let you have your five seconds of fame as you slip beneath the waves. Glug, 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 Nice. Anyway, so that's that done. Let's sink the merchants and withdraw. Look at that. That is a good result after the earlier um, shambles with the U-boats. The aircraft carrier Illustrious has been sunk finally for 23,000 tonnes. The flower corvette Acanthus has been sunk for 950 tonnes. And the C-3 and the C-2 freighter have been sunk for 8,000 and 5,500 tonnes apiece. Giving us warship tonnage of 23,000 950 and merchant tonnage of 13,500 all for the cost of a little bit of light damage to the destroyer I'll take that any day Meanwhile U-29 and U-42 have come across a convoy being escorted by the Acasta destroyer of C-2 freighters and large freighters and whatnot So let's see how this is. It's a nighttime attack. Beautiful do not hit that disengage button by mistake again, Taff, you moron. Um, and there are the ships. Right. Which way are they going? There's the Acasta there. Let's just figure out. They're going away from us, aren't they? Yeah. Okie koki. So we're a little bit behind the game again, as we tend to be. Um... Right, I want you to go starboard, flank speed. You're going to be engaging the destroyer. Not right now. Seeing if we had any um, aircraft attacks, that's fine. Meanwhile, U-42, hard to port, please. Um, 4,000, 4,000... Where is the Acasta? Is that her? That's her over there, right. Okay, we'll target this ship. Actually, we'll target this ship as well. Uh, torpedo solution of 330.2. Uh, 330.2, which is there. And we'll fire one inside there. And then we'll target this ship. Or maybe, mm, uh, I don't know. Maybe we should just try and dumb fire as much as possible. Um, 5.7 is the estimation on this one. Or the solution, should I say. Oh my god, I can't get it. There we go. And on the far one is 356.3. Uh, Which is there. Fire. 
That should get the destroyer's attention. So, I know people say, why are you attacking the, um, the, well, wasting torpedoes on the, um, the cargo ships, but you do get experience for killing them, and you can then, um, get the destroyer into a position where you want the destroyer, which is always good. Right, so we got two ships are sunking there. Move forward. Uh, she doesn't have any torpedoes available at the moment. Until she reloads. Still one in the water, of course. There it is. Lovely. So that she's had four hits. They're thinking about blowing up, but they never did. Uh, that's fine. Move this one forward. She's just getting into position. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Right, uh, you turn to port. And there's the destroyer there. Yeah, not much you can do. Move forward. Torpedo reloaded. Lovely. Now, as I say, it's just a little bit of manoeuvring now. Um, not really interested in the other merchants. It's all about trying to set up a shot on the destroyer now, and then we can sink and withdraw the other merchants via the menu. And there she is. Right. So you're pretty much going the right way. Speed up a bit. She's already got one torpedo, we know. Oh, no, she's backing up. there so continue forward um, yes there's the that's the who we're targeting the Acasta so you move forward how many torpedoes did they reload just the one okay he's, he's in fast reverse that way isn't he let's just see 8,000 meters. Ah, it's a bit of a waste of a shot from that distance. Keep moving forward. Another, another torpedo reloaded. Lovely. He's still backing up. Okay. Let's keep moving them in. And here we go. U-42. Right. Oh, torpedo reloaded. I think we're going to have a full four to go. Here we go. The Acasta's right here. She's 1,900 metres away from us. It's point blank. We can't miss. We're going to fire a couple of torpedoes just to be sure. Under the bridge, or under the guns, and under the uh, boiler room. Fire. Boom. There goes the Acasta. Happy days. And we can sink and withdraw. Brilliant. Brilliant bit of um, decisive action there. The Acasta has been sunk for 13,500 tons. Three C2 freighters sunk for 5,500 each. And two large freighters sunk for 7,800 and 8,700 tons respectively. Which is 1,350 warship tons and 33,000 merchant tonnage. Nice. But they have gained another blue square on the tonnage war. It seems they are not done yet. Yes. Okay. So we're bringing the, these boys back into port. Um, next time and uh, get them repaired. In fact, let's can we do that now? Let's get these boys and move you into port and get you. Oh, actually, let's get you all rearmed and reloaded. And it's gonna be eight turns for the guys now. Damage to be sorted. Um, we've got the Carl Shrew up here. Why don't you pop up here? And uh, can you go into port? 
get some more fuel <laughs> or something. And we have uh, U30 fully restocked and repaired. You go into the, the UK. Nice. Um, the Scharnhorst uh, the, and the Admiral Hipper minus the uh, U40. I'm going to move you away from the British Isles just so they don't get any aerial attacks in while we're uh, faffing about. Brilliant. We've got the Turbits and the Bismarck down there. Brilliant. We're going to leave it there. Thank you ever so much for joining me on this episode of Atlantic Fleet. I hope you've enjoyed, enjoyed it. Finally, we've put the nemesis that is the illustrious to bed by sending her down to the bottom of the ocean. Finally. She's no longer going to be a menace and a thorn in our side. So, happy days all round. As always... Thank you so much for watching. I a bit of a pause as I just noticed we've ticked over to January 1941. Welcome to the new year. 1941 everyone. Yes, thank you ever so much for the support. As always, if you want to see some more, you want to support the series, uh, please hit that like button. Hit the share button next to it and share on social media. And uh, if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and tickling the bell so you get the latest notifications into your feed. Wonderful. Right, we'll leave it there. Thank you ever so much for joining me this time. And uh, I'll be back next week with more Atlantic Fleet. Take care. I'll see you then.